Well, hello. Uh, I've been promising a little walkthrough of my uh, Lance truck camper. So why don't you all uh, come in and take a quick look and maybe hear some of the improvements that I'm going to do and what I've done. So come on in. So let's get the party started. Um, thank you for uh, joining me. As you can see, this is my little, it's a, it's like a eight foot six on the bottom camper. Uh, overall length, um, probably 12 something, I forget. Anyhow, pretty lightweight, dry weight of uh, about 1600 pounds, wet weight of about 2400 pounds. I write it in my, uh, this is a 99 and I, 1999 and I write it in my 1999 Ford F-250 power stroke 7.3 so it's a nice complimentary fit in every fashion and even color so first off I think you see the obligatory uh, dinette that folds out to a bed um, this table kind of drives me crazy so I will be putting in a lagoon mount and maybe reducing the size and if some of you have been following me you'll see that I replaced the blinds or with these new uh, thermal blinds and took off the valances. So for instance, as we walk back here, you can see those valances over the windows. Um, those were on these up here and I got rid of them. I did a video on it, but uh, I think you can see that it's this is just a much, much, much cleaner look. Uh, above the dinette, there is plenty of storage space. Excuse any of my messes. Big storage space there. Big storage space there, and then, if you want to, this will actually fold down to a bunk bed, which is really kind of cool. So it's said that this, uh, this thing can sleep six. I'm thinking two adults and uh, maybe four small kids. I don't plan to ever use that bunk, uh, but I just keep it there. Um, but I mostly use storage, and I don't stock up a lot of storage. Um, while we're at this end, we'll spin around, come to the bathroom, which is uh, well, your standard small camper bathroom, but you know what? I kind of like it. There's actually, excuse the mess, I still need to clean it. There's actually quite a bit of room. Hey, who's there? Hello. Um, it's got a big medicine cabinet, which I kind of dig. And then storage down here. And uh, that also leads to the outside um, shower. And what I like is the ducting in there. You see the ducting back there? There's ducting that even runs into the holding tanks, which is really kind of cool. Um, the fresh water is in here up front, 33 gallons. But uh, the gray water and the black water are actually um, enclosed. So the black water is right under that commode, and I added extra insulation uh, to it, too. And the uh, gray water is runs along the whole back, and that's actually has a whole enclosure. It's all insulated, and a duct actually blows into there. So I think Lance, uh, my understanding, although I haven't researched it much, uh, builds a lot of their trailers for more northern weather. Uh, this particular model, which is the Squire, it's the next step. The next step up above it is a Legend, and this has all the options except for a rounded door. Um, as a legend, it's got foam core, extra insulation on the sides, the special ducting going to all the tanks, um, the lights all around the trailer on the outside, all kinds of little extra perks um, and stuff. So I've been real happy with it, as I may have told many of you. Um, I got this, uh, oh, I think it was 22, um, 21 or 22. Had to have been 21 because it's when I went to... NBC Universal in LA to play the role of Richard Nixon with Sean Penn and Julia Roberts. And that was still during the COVID years. But I was so, uh, and then I took this to Montana for season two of a series called Into the Wild Frontier. So if, if any of you want to follow my career, go to the international movie database called imdb.com, uh, search Danny Wynn, and uh, everything I've done will come up. So anyhow, I had done two seasons in Montana, the second season. Uh, was right after I purchased this camper, and uh, my dog Stray and I had a blast. Who was also in season two, uh, one episode. I was recurring in one and two. Um, but boy, when we weren't filming, when we were off set, we'd go into the middle of nowhere outside of Missoula or Ennis, 
uh, with the four wheel drive truck and just boondock anywhere, fly fish. And we were walking one uh, morning, it wasn't too early, it was about 10 o'clock and saw a mama moose and a baby moose. And Stray is good with animals because we have horses at the Ranchito, so it didn't bother her. Speaking of which, she must have heard her name. Uh, but anyhow, uh, going into my acting career. But it, but I picked this up in Arizona. I had to drive six hours, but it was worth it because I picked it up for $2,500. Um, they were asking for it, which still would have been low. And uh, the guy just, he had to, it was a lineman or something, had to go hit the road, and he just wanted to be done with it. And it wasn't used much, except mostly for sleeping in. Um, and everything was functional. I just found the wasp nests and some of the exhausts of the of the propane unit in the camper, or in the camper refrigerator, the Dometic, and then in the water heater. And once I got that cleaned out, and as I did a video on the one in the furnace that I found, um, uh, everything ran perfectly. No leaks, nothing. Uh, so when I got back after I picked it up, I went to move, change the light bulbs out to uh, LEDs, and I went to the camper store in town, and they told me I could turn around and sell this camper for about ten nine right at that moment. Well, I wasn't, I didn't get it to make money. I get it because it fit my truck perfectly, and we wanted to go in our travels and do some more things. Anyhow, enough of that. Um, so I did put in uh, two hundred watts of solar. I'm going to get two extra three hundred watt powers panels, so I'll probably end up with six. I'll end up with eight. And I'll stop there. But that's my little controller for the one I added. I'll have to get a bigger controller for the other stuff. And, of course, the old monitor and everything still works. Pump still works. Um, there is a your typical three-burner stove. Oven. Probably one of the things I'm going to change out. Um, I just, I only need, like, a two-burner. And I'm going to change the configuration of the whole kitchen here. And I want more counter space, so I'll probably get a single sink bigger sit back in the corner with a uh, one of those shower type of uh, kitchen faucets big sink here and then put a two burner across here and then this space i'll probably trim out and i found a wonderful uh cuisine art um microwave slash oven slash convection oven air fryer and it's really kind of uh, compact and i'm going to put it down there where the stove would go and just put it on a rollout slide. I think that'll be fantastic. I'll be doing videos of that. And then um, the countertop will be a butcher block. Um, and to add more room, counter room, the over here on the step up to the bed, I'm gonna put a fold down with a leg that'll come out about to here. And that will give me a lot more counter space through this whole area. Um, and then when I have my table, with the lagoon mount, I'll be able to swing the table over here and do that. So I'll just be surrounded by counter space and I can slide the table out, rotate it out towards the door to, you know, if I'm eating outside, which I probably would, I can just move it towards the door and, and service myself out there. Um, yeah, so the typical little, not a bad size sink. Um, but like I said, I do want the single one and get rid of this little deal, a little under storage. I pretty much leave that. I got some tools in there because I'm working on things. All the plumbing in there. Um, I kind of leave that open because that's where a lot of my fuse boxes are. There is one other thing I did replace on this. Uh, really didn't go bad. But on the uh, uh, inverter panel, fuse panel, breaker panel, uh, your typical RV style, it had the old type of inverter which just created a lot of heat. You can actually see that the tile on the floor kind of got overheated underneath the unit. So, not too long after I got the unit, I picked up a solid state inverter, which puts off very any heat, not at all. Um, so you've seen the cabinets, a little this is Dometic. Here's a little storage space, and obviously for jerking some small stuff, because behind it is a propane compartment where I have two five-gallon propane tanks. Um, presently, and I'm started the video on it, waiting on parts. Um, after I got the trailer, one of the uh, hinge springs, which is very common for these things on the freezer, um, went out so the freezer door would always just stay open. And then you'd have to close the refrigerator and close it on it. And it would cause the refrigerator to freeze up a little bit too. Um, the propane part of this, the 12 volt part of this, 
Uh, 110 pounds, everything works fantastic on this uh, refri refrigerator freezer. I'm just really amazed. So anyhow, I got the part ordered for that. Um, that'll probably come in next week sometime. I've already done the removal video, and then after I get the part, I'll do that video. And you'll see that I have other videos on cleaning out the uh, uh, air furnace wash nests and pulling out the stove for that and my blinds and all that jazz. Um, it is wired for air conditioning. Um, in this unit, I don't think I'm going to put in your standard RV air. Um, if you go back further on this side, I do want to put a max, uh, max air vent there. Um, for, uh, I just, I hate the air conditioners are just so loud on these things. Um, so I had researched last year or so, and they have like a, uh, 12 volt mini split. And I love mini splits in the home. I used to install them when I was a contractor. Um, and it'll sit right outside back of my door. I got a place to run the, uh, lines, uh, behind all the cabinets here in the kitchen. And then I am going to put the condenser or the fan rather, condenser sits outside and then the fan unit and stuff will go in here with the vents that I can shoot off this way and into the bedroom. And it'll just be nice, quiet and wonderful. And it won't be a heavy draw on my solar because I am looking to be, uh, I know it's called boondocking, but be totally off grid with this, uh, this unit. And uh, I'm gonna put a PVC water system up on top, three inch line to carry about an extra 25 or 30 gallons of water. Um, on a grid up there in black pipe, which will also be naturally heated and I can service that off the back for washing uh, outside uh, Yeah, all these little plants you'll see videos on each one um, So looking back over here into the bedroom We'll get step up here a little bit um, It had like a cassette AM FM and I put in a nifty little AM FM with the uh, DVD player DVD and CD player, but you can actually watch movies on this. And that was really kind of cool and it wasn't that expensive. And then after that, I got a little 24 inch TV mounted up here. So you can watch it laying in bed or swing it around out here and then watch it as you can see from the dinette. And also if you swing it around and out towards the window, when you're on the outside looking up, you can actually watch TV from the outside. Not that I plan to. Um, I just think it was neat the way I set it up multi-purpose. Yeah, just in case for resale, if somebody uses it more in an RV park, I guess that'd be okay. Um, so now we're up here in the cab over, which really I'm six foot. Um, if I went straight up, I can go into that space. But here in the thing, I just have to put my head down or slump a little bit, and then I have no problem. Um, you got a cabinet here, that uh, wardrobe, you can take the shelves out if you want to. And it's got the hanger thing up there, which I may do because I need more hanging room for clothes than I do stackable clothes. And these just shelves just come right out. Um, and over here, you have this storage compartment which is kind of big. So you see what I say? I can put a lot of clothes in there and uh, I really don't need a lot. Um, especially if I'm just out roaming around. And then another, you can see another big cabinet here. And you can see those damn valances I'm gonna get rid of also. In here, I just don't like them. Speakers, and then around, you got that typical front window, which I really, I guess it's okay. And then over here, um, again, you have this cabinet storage. See, there's so much clothing room, That's it, but I need more hanging room. And then that. And then over here, get that TV back, um, another drawer. Just plenty, plenty of room. <clears throat> By the stereo thing here, I just use this as a DVD, the remote for the TV. I uh, got a little sewing kit in there. Let me just has more room than what I need, really. And then uh, this little deal is kind of cool. It's uh, thermal. It's got insulation and stuff in it. And it actually clips to cover the uh, emergency escape and skylight um, to keep the cool weather out and stuff. So that's kind of nice, you know? 
And it does. I've been in here in the cold, and it stops the air immensely. Immensely, immensely, immensely. So as you can see, it's a pretty comfortable, cozy little place. And there is also another left of the kitchen. I forgot to show you a little wardrobe closet in there. Um, so, yeah. So it's got storage everywhere. And I've just been really happy with it. And that's the trailer. That's some of the improvements I'm going to do to it. Woo! <laughs> and taking videos along the way. I'm really looking forward to, which I won't do till next year, putting in that, uh, the mini split, uh, air conditioner, which is also a heat pump too. Although my heater works fantastic. Um, it's better than a Suburban. It's made by, what is it? Atwood. So it mean, the heat hits real quick. You're not drafting a bunch of cold air. You got your main vent out here in the kitchen and then there's a vent that goes into the room, which I may end up blocking off because I like to sleep cold and, or just turn the thermostat down. But there is a nice thing, aside from all that ducting that goes to the water tanks and everything, there's also a duct in the uh, bathroom. So if you are up in Montana, which I like to go, uh, or just any winter time or cold weather situation, you can turn on the heater and that room's going to heat up quick and you can take a nice warm, warm shower. Uh, so that's really kind of cool. So I think that is about it. Are you getting dizzy yet? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, so, and let me know what you think about those blinds. I keep asking. I mean, it's just such a nicer look, isn't it? Than those blue valances that I showed you up on the, uh, in the master bedroom. I mean, it's just such a nice, cleaner look. But, I mean, it's like nobody ever sat in these, uh, the upholstery is like brand new. I mean, everything. Oh, yeah, one other thing. There is something. When I slept in this uh, one time in a very cold spot, um, I actually had to put a little heater blanket below my mattress. Um, because the cold air just comes up from underneath terribly. So, I am going to get some uh, foam, co and, uh, foam and uh, just that half inch um, compressed stuff, the really tight stuff. And uh, put that under the bed, and I think that will handle a lot of that problem and give it a good uh, moisture and coolness barrier from that extreme cold. Um, but that is the only complaint that I would have about this uh, this camper. Otherwise, I've just been happy with pretty much everything. And, of course, just, you know, the upgrades I want to make into the kitchen. So, I look forward to telling you all more. Um, like I said, watch for my other videos. You'll see another blind video installation. You'll see the uh, refrigeration. You'll see the furnace fix of finding the mud wash nest down in there, um, which I will get some uh, screen covers for the exhaust system so that doesn't happen again. They sell them little round ones on the Amazon. I need to pick those up. But, uh, yeah, check out my other videos, see what you think. And then as we, uh, when we get back on the road, uh, when I go filming on location elsewhere, I just got off a Netflix series um called pulse uh, another medical series um but i had a small recurring role on that and that was i live south of santa fe east of albuquerque at my little ranchito and that one was filmed at netflix studios in albuquerque that was my latest one but when uh we are getting itchy feet stray and i to get on the road so we are also going to take videos of you know, when i go on location um and then we'll bring you in on set also and take some videos on set. And in my, a lot of times for what roles I do in big studios, I get a, they give me a big fancy trailer on location, which is always kind of fun. But um, yeah, and then this weekend we are going to take a trip uh, and we're actually going to be car camping in my Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, I'm heading out to Arizona for a Halloween party and catch up with an old friend. And uh, we're going to stop along the way back in parts of Arizona. Might go to Clor uh, Quartzsite, check it out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then hit a couple spots and just stop our way on the back and be camping out of the Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, very uh, limited. We won't have a lot of things with us except for, a, you know, a bedroll for me and a spot for Estrella, who's about 80 pounds. So, but we'll be taking video of that, uh, that trip too. And that ought to be fun. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. 
uh, hit video links, whatever I may put on here if I do, and, and uh, anything else. Thank you so much for watching all the time. Ciao.